Hello Craniacs, welcome to the third part of a three part series on reading crane load charts. I did tail cranes in the first one, mobile cranes in the second, and now we're on telehandlers. The reason I've done three different videos is because there are different areas to cover on each category. Um, so telehandlers, you've got stabilizers which is called leg, and you've got frame levelling. The examples I'm going to be giving you of, the, the, of these diagrams is of a Manitou. So it's a Manitou MT1435. Uh, you've got different drawings for different configurations. So let's get do the presentation. Do the old screen recording, Malarkey. It's great, all this tech stuff, isn't it? So the first one is, uh, is with stabilizers down. Uh, the telehandlers will always lift more with stabilizers down because obviously it stabilizes them, gives them stability. So here's the diagram. So here you'll see uh, stabilizers down. Here, you, this region, you've got your maximum lifting capacity. You've got your in your x axis, you've got your radius. That's how far away the the hook or the forks are to the to the crane. To the telehandler, I should mention here that it stabilizes with forks using forks. Um, along the y axis, you've got your height, and then obviously, these lines here is your boom angle 60 degrees, 50 degrees. Yeah, they're your angles. So, looking at this red line that I've drawn in here, this telehandler will lift. Um, three and a half ton, 3,500 kilos at 4.65 meter radius. You can see that there. Let's draw a little line for you. I like my little pen. 4.65 meter radius, and it follows that up to nine meters in height. If you want to lift three and a half ton any higher, you can't increase the radius at all. You have to stick at the same same radius and you have to just follow the arc round at that radius yeah so that will leave three and a half ton um, but you won't you won't be able to extend your jib anymore with that so that's that that's pretty simple isn't it let's go to the next one got to move me stuff around now okay so this one is on tyres with frame, frame levelling. So on tyres meaning it's not using the stabilisers, yeah? Uh, the stabilisers lift the tyres off the ground uh, to stabilise the crane, uh, to stabilise the telehandler, but this one is just lifting with tyres. But the frame levelling is, because it hasn't got the legs down, uh, and also because um, ground isn't always level, if you're slightly tilted, the, the telehandler will, will try to level it up for you so that, that you're not lifting on the tilt. Uh, the, the chart reads exactly the same as the last one, except that it will lift um, slightly less now. Obviously, because I haven't got the, the legs to stabilise the telehandler. So this will lift three and a half ton, 3,500 kilos, the same as the last one. But it will li only lift it up to two meter radius, as you've got here. See this red line that I've drawn here, and it will lift it up to about four, 5.2 meters high. But again. You've got this line here. If you want to go higher with it, you have to stick at that radius and arc it around. This one goes, you can slight, it's not It's not a natural curve, so you can slightly increase the jib length a little bit there, and then you've got to arc it round. Uh, but again, you'll see that picture there, it says stabilizers up. So that's that one. The next one is on tyres without frame levelling. As you can imagine, it'll be able to lift less. So let's get come out of here, come out of here, and go into this one. Zoom in a little bit. So there isn't much difference in capacity in this one, um, except you won't be able to go quite as high. You'll still lift. You'll lift. You've got your diagram here. Let's say the stabilisers up and on here it just shows without frame levelling so it's just got the head in there to for you to, for you to keep an eye on so this one will lift up to 
three and a half ton up to 2.2 meter radius. Let's draw me little thing there so you can see. 2.2 meters. Oh, sorry, not very good drawing there, and that line going down to it. <laughs> so it's not very clear there, but you get my you get my drift. And then over here, you can lift that up to roughly 4.75 meters high. So you can see there's your four, and there's your five. So 4.75 meters high. So it's simple. You just follow those all the way along all your different weights and all your different radius readings. Um, this can get quite confusing down here. All these, uh, excuse me, use me cursor, all these numbers here, but you've just got to know that you've got a long line going down to 2.2, .2, long line, this one going down to 3.4, this one going all the way down to 4.75, this one going all the way down to 6.3, and these little ones are your intervals in between. Okay? You've got your boom angle there, the same as all the others. And that is it, really. It's simple. Simple as that. So I hope that was useful for you. Um, don't forget to head over to the other videos if, if they do, if they are relevant to you. And don't forget to subscribe. Do it now. In the bottom, bottom right hand corner of your screen there's a little button to subscribe on it yeah to help you to get any notifications for any new videos that are coming up leave a comment as well I like to interact with people I like to chat with people about what they think uh, and to, if there's any suggestions that you, uh, of other videos that I can do then uh, crack on leave a little comment on there so that's that for me the end of the series see you soon